What is up, everybody? The moment has arrived. The time is upon us. Madden 15 Ultimate Team news is here. The first thing that we're going to dive into is a little bit of the card art and what this lineup screen looks like. We all know that a little bit of the card art got leaked out last Friday, but today we're going to get to see what everything is going to start to look like. As you can see, the lineup screen has changed a little bit since last year. Offensive scheme is now all one screen rather than split up into your run and pass scheme. You also get to see a little bit more of your depth chart as cards rather than having to dive into that depth chart screen. You get to see more of than just your starters by just bumpering down and be able to see who your QB1, QB2, and QB3 are. Plus you get to either see more wide receivers and your backup offensive line. As I know right here, I mean, I would have personally like to see a Victor Cruz card maybe in the slot, but I know that my boy e Rock's going to be very, very happy with seeing Larry Fitzgerald, and we all know that Chase is going to be happy seeing that Dez Bryant is on the outside, but it's okay that they did leave out the Giants on this screen and the Patriots, so I mean, me and Code, you know, they didn't fully get all the Mutt Crew members of uh, a player here, so maybe we'll have to talk to him about that next time that any type of uh, Photoshop. We're going to need a little bit of uh, Cowboys, Giants, uh, Cardinals, and Patriots. They can't leave anyone out next time, but the lineup screen does look pretty clean. It's very nice that you can get to see the whole picture of what's going on. Uh, the cards do look very nice and clean. It is a nice, simple look. Uh, obviously, these are going to be the base cards. They are lower overalls. Uh, they are going to start with a very, very low overall point system this year and it's going to be a very slow progression slow pace to get to those high OP cards and those 99 teams hopefully is going to be a very hard challenge uh, this year uh, and something that progresses and gives us the goal towards the end of the year the next thing that we're going to dive into is going to be uh, you're getting started your objective screen uh, they're going to introduce this into Madden I know some people have seen this before in FIFA but this is going to be a way for you to track and get introduced with all the new features here. Uh, you're going to start off with your uh, welcome pack, then you're going to set up your team and of course play your solo. And uh, this is pretty much how it's going to work up here. As we can see from this screen up at the top that a lot of people are going to notice, we do have coins and we do have Madden points. Uh, don't know exactly uh, if we can go into the detail of what the points are. Um, but I'm sure a lot of people are going to be interested in what those points are really going to entail. The next screen that we're going to be talking about is going to be once you actually select into one of the cards. When you open up a pack or when you go from your lineup screen and actually select on a card, you're going to be able to get this menu system. It is going to be able to show you compare between other cards. It is going to be able to let you promote it directly to a starter. So if you pull a pack and get a new card and you're like, yes, this is going to be my new starter, you don't have to go through many screens. You can collect, click the button right there, promote to the starter, and he will instantly be a starter on your team. You can extend contracts right there, put them on the auction block, trade or quick sell all from one screen, and you can also add to sets, which we will talk about in a moment here. The next screen that we're going to go to is your binder. So here what it is going to be is no longer a reserves. They have went to the whole trading card and if you guys remember playing, uh, collecting baseball cards and football cards back in the day, that big binder set, that's pretty much what they're going to. The sleeve sliding the cards into the slot, giving you that nostalgia feeling of being able to collect your cards. Here they're going to be able to show you, you're going to be able to search by your tier, your team, your style your program and yes it is now style over chemistry chemistry is still kind of there but it is is a little bit more effective than it was last year uh, some people seem to think that it wasn't effective at all but it is definitely going to be a little bit more of a factor this year and definitely be called style um, this is going to be your binder set up from here you're going to be able to quick sell items add to auction promote to starter trade and everything from your binder no more pending and no more having to move cards back and forth between them, which is very, very nice. 
Let's go back to the screen where you can actually see the, all the options and when you're in one individual card. And this is what everyone is going to look for. And as you can see from the previous screen, where I said you're able to go from the binder straight to auction block, straight to trade, straight to starter, you're also going to be able to add a card straight to set. So what that is going to let you do is when you click on that set screen, it will give you a list of sets that will come up and give you an option of what set you want to put that card in and boom, it is automatically collected in one second. If you dive in to what the vault and the warehouse and these other sets and collections are going to look like here, they got some really, really cool card art as they scroll along. They've only released these two, the home uniform and the away uniform. So if we dive in to the home uniform, and let's just say you buy Madden 15 and you dive in the first time and you're like me and you rip a bunch of packs. So now you have all your packs, your cards and your binder, and now it's time to start collecting. Soon as you go into this collection screen, you will automatically see if you already have the card. It will say add item. If you don't have it, it will say find item. If you do have it, you can just hit A, confirm it, and it's collected. No more going out, going to your reserves, moving the card around, and finding the place for it to go. You're able to do a collection in seconds. If you have all the uniform as fast as you can hit A and confirm each one, you can do a collection. My first experience after ripping a lot of packs, I was able to complete about 15 collections in 15, about 15 minutes. It was able just to go through, rapidly fire and hit an A, get them all done, move to the next collection, you see you have it. If you don't have it, you're able to search for it and it's going to be a very, very cool way that you're going to be able to search the auction house and automatically put it into the collection also. So guys, we can obviously see that they're starting to make a lot of changes. The game is going to be a lot smoother. They have definitely made the collecting aspect, which is almost the most important aspect of an ultimate team, is the cards, what you do with them, how you use them, and how effective and easy it is to be able to collect them. Obviously, they've revamped and changed the whole thing, the scheme. I'm very excited to definitely start collecting. You can definitely tell once new collections come out, it won't take all that time of searching for the cards. You just pop into that collection, you know what you have, you know how to go find it easy, and you can just get the card and move on to playing the game very, very quickly. The time of searching the auction house, moving pending collections, reserves, and shifting cards around is over. The time for more playing is upon us. So guys, hopefully as the days come by, we'll definitely have more Madden 15 news to come. I'm really, really excited to see what you guys are thinking about this. This is a really, really good first introductory, in my opinion, for the Madden 15 to let, you, uh, let the community know that they have been listening to feedback. They have made massive changes. And this is the first example of the massive change in the correct step that Madden 15 Ultimate Team has gone to make the whole collecting process either easier, smoother, and faster. Until next time, Muck Crew, we're out.